Okay, last night I watched the movie The Banana Splits. Um, first of all, I want to say that I grew up when I was a little wee nipper watching the original TV series. Um, it's quite a freaky show. It had the characters, it had um, a weird cartoon in between scenes and stuff. But I can remember the theme tune, I can remember the characters. And even then, the characters are quite creepy. So let's get on with the movie. The movie is an 80s slasher, best way I can see it. It's not for kids, <laughs> no way for kids. It's a really good twist on the Planet Splits. Um, how can I say? It's, I think it's going to be a cult classic because it's nostalgia mixed with horror. Uh, because in the TV series, Banana Splits never kill people, never murder people. They were just singing, dancing, doing stupid things. Uh, yeah, and singing songs. <laughs> That's what the Banana Splits were when I was young. So yeah, so this movie isn't the best, isn't fantastic, but it is fun. It's a fun ride, it's a fun film. If you haven't seen the Banana Splits TV series, it might be a bit confusing, it's just to, to them, to you, it'll just be a movie with people who, who, in weird costumes killing people. But for us people 40 plus, it's it's a childhood a memory that's been twisted. <laughs> you know, I would love to see the comeback of the banana splits, as in the old fashioned way, not the murderous way. But no, I think they've done a really good job. The director, she's built Canadian woman, she's done a really good job there. I did send a tweet out after I've seen it, um, saying how mad and twisted it was, but how good it was. And I gave it a rating 6 out of 10. And the director liked the tweet, so I'm quite happy with that. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I've been looking at the website and stuff, looking at other things. I haven't seen any other, other films, but um, yeah, I think this will be the, you yeah, the door for to open for more wide stream, hopefully more wide stream stuff. But no, brilliant. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, trust me. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, but if you like good old 80s horror slasher, gory, stupid films, you love it. Well, not love it, but you like it. Um, and it does take the mickey out of itself, you know. It's, it's, yeah. I, just, I love the way that they turn the characters into robots that have been programmed, um, an update to their programming has gone wrong and when they find out the show gets cancelled, you know, well that's enough said, that's just a bit of the tip of the iceberg for the film, but uh, yeah, yeah, so I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Um, it's one of those films you can watch a few times, but after that, I don't know, um, I'll watch it once and I'll watch it again. But I don't think I've coped more than two or three times watching it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've seen it, give it a thumbs up. If you remember the old show, give it a thumbs up. Comment, let me know. Um, if you haven't seen it, maybe you don't care. Just comment anyway, let me know. Thank you very much. And I want to think of a new closing catchphrase. Okay. Get this one. Well, that's all, folks, for now. <laughs>